Hello, and welcome back to the Hudson Hangout. Today, I'm interviewing music legend Randy Newman. He has won three Emmys, seven Grammys, and two Oscars. He's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and is a Disney legend. You may know him from his song, I Love LA, You've Got a Friend in Me, and Toy Story. He's written, composed, and arranged for tons of Pixar movies and recently Marriage Story. Hello, Randy. Hello, Hudson. How are you? Good. Now, let's get this interview on with. How did you become a musician? I started uh, taking piano lessons when I was, I think, six. And I just kept it up. It was in my family. My, uh, I have a lot of musicians in the family, and so I saw it a bit. You know, I saw the jobs that they did. And uh, that's how it started. Mm -hmm. What was your breakthrough that made you famous? Famous. I think the first time people noticed me was uh, a song that a, a great artist named uh, Julie, Judy Collins sung think, uh, called Think It's Gonna Rain. Uh, I think that's the first that people heard of me. They heard of me more in England than, than here, for instance. I had a couple of hit records from there. Mm. Uh, I didn't, but that someone did singing my songs. And uh, uh, so there was that. Mm -hmm. It's funny, things like that happen. I mean, I went to Holland once and no one in the United States had heard of me. I mean, I wasn't, didn't sell any records much or anything at all. But I got off the plane there and they wanted to have a press conference and everything. And, and uh, it was really a big surprise. It's nice. But these days you're super famous everywhere. Me? Yeah. No, uh, no I'm not. Just at Disneyland. <laughs> When I went to Disneyland, the one time, uh, I was all over the place. What'd you say? Also in all of the U.S. You're also oh, all of the U.S., yeah. Well, you got a friend and things. Yes, it's true. I, I shouldn't be modest. But I can't help. You'll be famous everywhere someday. I feel it. I saw a movie you'd like. It's got something that's so good in it that it's worth watching for one thing. The name of the movie is Stand Up and Cheer. See if you can get it. It's just really, I don't know, it's not that good a picture, but it's got fantastic things in it. Okay. That's all. What was your, what was your favorite band as a kid? You know, when I was a kid, they didn't have bands. I mean, it, it just, rock and roll was just starting. It started. When I was nine years old, I mean, started hearing it in this country. Uh, my favorite artists were like Fats Domino, uh, Ray Charles. Um, I always liked the, Be uh, the Beatles, but I wasn't a kid by then. So uh, that's like that. Then I like okay. classical music uh, always. Okay. How did you start working with Pixar and Disney? Uh, they had heard my albums and liked the arrangements I did. And also, uh, I think they liked, I, I'd done some movies before those, like The Natural, which is about baseball. And uh, I did uh, Avalon and uh, Pretty good picture. Awakenings, I think, is before. But anyway, they heard me, and John Lasseter and the head of Disney Music, Chris Montan, came and asked me if I'd do it and showed me storyboards of it. And at the same time, I was doing uh, James and the Giant Peach, as I recall. And also, I was doing um, a thing called Cats Can't Dance. I wrote the songs for it. It isn't that bad, but it was did nothing. <clears throat> but I thought that Toy Story would wouldn't do as well as those pictures. You know, I thought that James and the Giant Peach or even Cats Can't Dance would those were the ones that were going to be successful. But hmm. and now Toy Story is a big thing, and every and when you say Toy it. Story, the movies everyone knows what you're talking about. Oh yeah, everywhere in the world, it's really, really something. Mm -hmm. Really big thing. I was lucky I had something like that. Which, which is your favorite movie of the Pixar movies that you did? 
I think it's uh, Toy Story 2. Mm-hmm. You know, with Jesse in it. And, and uh, a lot of big stuff happened. It was the last one, too. What did you think oh, of the last two? Did you see the last two uh, Toy Stories? The, you mean three and four? Yeah. I forget three, but we watched four <laughs> last year. I yeah. thought it was a bit scary that, because all the like Chucky like guys were trying to get. Uh, yeah, it was. it was. And three was rough. You so you forgot three. It was so scary. <laughs> no, I said four was scary. Ooh, three was. Remember, they went to the uh, to the garbage dump and the fire and everything. Hmm. I don't remember that one. Oh wait a minute. Was that Monsters? No, it was Toy Story. Yeah, anyway, you're better off. Well, what was your favorite instrument that you, that you wish you played? Oh. I, th- I think maybe a violin, because I'd like to play in a string quartet, like where you have four, four string players, violin, mm. two violins, a, a viola, and a cello. And I love chamber music, and, and I'd like to have been good enough to be able to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd, I'd love that. If I were the boss of it. Did you like being the singing bush in the Three Amigos? <laughs> yeah. I made the bush kind of irritable. The thing in mouth on the air, the canal, you know, he's out there in the sun all the time. We told some projects in our day, and I just went on. Yeah, and it's sort of like, it's like, La 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 la, and just keep singing when the amigos start like asking all, questions. all the time. Yeah, <laughs> they couldn't stop him. <laughs> I think this this must be the singing bush. <laughs> yeah. Did you like making the music for the three amigos? Yeah, it was fair, fairly easy on me. It was just just uh, writing the songs. There's no orchestra, no didn't have to do the film music, and I wrote the script too. Co-wrote it. Uh, and that's the one time I did that. And, and I, I like the people I worked, you know, Steve Martin and Lauren Michaels, who, who, with whom I wrote it. And uh, yes, basically I liked it. Mm-hmm. I thought it could have been better, but, you know. Yeah, I watched it yesterday. Yeah. You liked it? Mm-hmm. What'd you laugh at? A lot of this stuff. Oh, good. Okay. Hey, let me ask you a question. Do you mind? No. Uh, you like the Mar- uh, Marsh Brothers a lot, right? Yes. Uh, anyone else? Like, do you like Laurel and Hardy? I have no idea who you're talking about. You don't. You should see what Laurel and Hardy. Then that's what, why I asked the question. Not they're not better than the Marsh Brothers, but they're really funny. Okay. So we know your big time tour to Europe was canceled. So are you working on anything during quarantine? Yeah, writing some songs. Mm-hmm. Nice. Thanks. And I wrote a song uh, for the, uh, they asked me to do a public service announcement and say, you know, don't touch your face, don't wash your hands. What is it? It's, it's, it's. Wear a mask yeah, I think I saw, I, I think I saw the video of you do it. Yeah, I did it, yeah. Okay, what was your favorite memory from being on Saturday Night Live? God, you know, I don't know. I, didn't, I was always happy when I was done because that's one thing that makes me a little nervous, television. It's so weird that people are watching you all over. I'm, I'm kind of used to it, but I, I, I don't know whether I'd ever get used to it. I was just, the, my favorite moments were when I was done and I could sit there. <sighs> You know, watch the rest of the show or listen to it. Probably when I post this, 40 or like, like 30 or 40 people are watch it. Oh, this? Yeah. Uh, watching what? The, oh, the your Zoom? Video. You know? yeah, oh, that's just... nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's good for your career. What place have you gone on tour that you never want to go to again? A place? Yeah. Uh, Niagara Falls, New York, I think. 
I, I, it's a really kind of depressing time. <laughs> okay. Is there any hey, celebrities, living or dead, that you'd like to meet? Uh, celebrities I like to meet. This is my my wife Gretchen. Hello. It's Hudson. Hi Hudson. Right. Oh. Must be good. I'm sorry she got in the way. She just wanted to be on television. Uh, it's okay. Celebrity over here that I'd like to meet. Um, I like. To, I mean, he's, I think he's still alive. I, I know there's other people I'd like to meet. Uh. But I'd like to meet Tom Lehrer, the songwriter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I met, I went, oh, well, I wouldn't know we'll bother you with that. Okay. What is the, what is your favorite to do when you're not working? I got to admit, I mean, it's sort of watching television and, and reading. Uh, Me too. What? Me too. Yeah, I kind of guessed that, but I mean, I'm not saying that just because I thought you'd like it. It's the truth. Sure. It's unbelievable how low my television watching is now, what I'm watching. It's, I'm watching the horse races. You know, there's no sports on, which is normally what, either sports or like nature shows, you know, with animals in the wild. Mm -hmm. But, um, there's horse racing, racing all day, every day. I'm okay. embarrassed. Do you, yeah. have, do you have your piano nearby? Fairly, I could get to it. I'd have to carry you over there. No, if you have to walk, it's okay. Um, no, I don't mind walking. I got a cane here. I just got my leg operated on, my knee. Okay. Want to see, see my scar? No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> I won't. Okay, I'll carry you over there. What do you want me to do over there first? Let me. Uh, let me maybe me play a song. Oh yeah, I can play something. Ready to say? You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Coming Hello. to my show. Good to be on it. Who's going to be on it next? I have no idea. Here's a quick peek at Randy's Grammys on the top shelf. <laughs> 